the dance. One foggy night at the grand dance, Navy was standing in the entrance holding a rose for his love. He's been waiting months for the thing he dreamt of, his first dance. He wore a black suit and a cyan blue tie. His hands were soaked in sweat from anxiousness, which makes sense since he's only met the girl online like two weeks ago. A few moments passed and he was a little thirsty, so he went to the punch bowl and grabbed a plastic cup on his right. Holding the label carefully over his cup, he felt a light tap on his shoulder. Is that her? Navy thought to himself. But as he turned his head slowly to surprise himself, the first thing he saw was a glass shoe, following pure white gloves with laces laid over small hands, then a skirt of hot pink dress. He officially turned around, showing the face of an angel. Her hair was the perfect shade of brown, and there were golden highlights at each end of the strain of her hair. Her eyes sparkled bright green along with her shining smile. But as he looked up and down at the beautiful figure, he thought of the online girl's profile picture. The internet lady had bright red hair and blue eyes. But then the girl spoke. Navia, it's Clarice. She said in a perky voice. From summer camp? He never met a girl, Clarice. Then she continued. In seventh grade, you were so funny and adorable. He didn't even go to summer camp when he was in seventh grade. What was this girl talking about? Well, she was too beautiful to let go of. But Mary, the internet girl, would be mad if she sees me flirting with a beautiful girl like Clarice. It's a big risk. Clarice started to know it is Navy is silent after a few seconds. Are you seeing someone? Clarice said. But what? <laughs> Navia stuttered. No, 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 I mean, yes. His whole body was shaking like no other. His face was red with embarrassment. Okay, I figured since you have the rose on the table beside you. Clarice explained. They look beautiful. I bet she'll love it. The time he had to do nothing, but in a few seconds, he finally spoke the words. Will you, will you dance with me? He said in question as he looks at Clarice's long hair. Clarice's face was bright red and said nothing, but as Navia saw her bright green eyes, the memory started to come back. Navia remembered he was singing for a summer camp after passing seventh grade. On the way to his house, he stumbled upon a girl with brown hair. They greeted and got to know each other. She said she was going to summer camp, but Navia couldn't go because he lost his permission slip that he couldn't replace. But during camp, Clarice and Navia were video chatting. Clarice must have thought that he was with her the whole time. Navia put both of his arms and grabbed Clarice's arms before she could answer. He held her close to his chest and whispered in her ear, You're the one. Hey guys, sorry if my reading was a little bit off. Um, I... No, you guys probably wanted Sexy Skies coming back and all that stuff, and it has came back. It's just a few of the fan fiction I got lately has been a little bit difficult for me to, you know, wrap my uh, words around, per se. Um, I stumble a lot, and I didn't want to stumble too much, but I know you guys probably wanted them back. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like. Uh lets me know that, you know, I can keep trying new stuff. And um, I'm going to try to get other people maybe to get somewhere in the mix with all this. Um, and yes, thank you for stopping by. Have a nice day.